In this video, I'll be showing you the meta for mining mithril and gemstone powder in Hypixel Skyblock. There's an update coming right around the corner that will make this even better for gemstone powder, but it will completely remove the mithril powder. So abuse this as much as you can before it's over. Let me tell you how it's done. Depending on when you're watching this video, you'll have some hard requirements before you can do this. You'll need the Heart of the Mountain Tier 3 to enter the Crystal Hollows, or 4 if you're watching after the update. However, don't go for this strategy until your Heart of the Mountain is up to level 6. If you don't have it, you'll not be able to use this method and you'll need to grind for as little or as long as it takes to get it. Now when you get to the Crystal Hollows, you'll be breaking the hard stone that fills up the majority of it. In order to break this, you'll need anything that can get you to a total of 15 100 mining speed and a breaking power of four at minimum. Now any pickaxe that is pretty much a diamond pickaxe or better will give you four breaking power at least. Now if you can't get 1500 mining speed through any means, you can buy a Pico Nimbus. They come with a mining speed of 1500 and a breaking power of seven by default. Now don't go using this to hunt gemstones and think that's the best way to get powder. No, you'll be going for the hard stone and you'll see here that I'm going to disable my perks and use a completely unenchanted Pico Nimbus, so this is kind of what it'll be like for you. These chests will spawn in and last for 60 seconds each. Feel free to get multiple of them in if you can handle it. You'll need to go through a mechanic called lock picking, which is just staring at a particle effect for five times in a row until the chest is unlocked and opens up. You'll know you're looking at it right when the particle effect actually disappears. This will be how you start your mithril and gemstone powder farming. Any chance you get, start using that gemstone powder for leveling up your great explorer perk. The more you level it up, the less locks it will take to open chests until you max it out and chests only need to be right clicked to open them. To max it, it will take just over 900,000 gemstone powder, but don't worry, don't freak out right now. This will only take about three or five hours depending on how efficient you are. I've seen these chests give up to 6,000 powder at once. Now if you're using the Pico Nimbus and it breaks, it's very cheap to replace at only around 200 or 300,000 if you haven't already looted one from these chests. Keep opening these up and use the gemstone powder to upgrade your Great Explorer perk. Once it's maxed, spend it on the mole perk which will let you mine more hardstone at once, giving you even more chances to spawn these chests in. Once you're here, congratulations, you're in the meta. And yes, it really is this simple. Now, how much powder does this give an hour? Well, I've tested that and you'll probably like the results. Here's an entire hour of mining hardstone with a maxed Great Explorer perk. I started at 24,000 or so mithril powder and about 2.2 thousand gemstone powder. With a timer on my other screen, exactly one hour later I had 391,000 mithril powder and 334,000 gemstone powder. I'll put the exact numbers here on screen, but you will likely get more than this because I had to stop a couple of times for maybe a minute or so. With this method in mind, get out there and use this as much as you can before it's patched. Otherwise, this is just going to turn into the meta for gemstone powder only. My name is Bloom, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye